Okay, um, today we're gonna try to resolve the problem that we we prepared in the last video, which was the tutorial one um, for factory IO, which oops, it's going to be uh, that one. Okay, we tried to prepare a little bit the problem okay we commented a couple things uh, and i hope somebody has tried that or if not maybe in the future and then that's why we have this this second video explain a little bit uh how to solve the problem okay or one of the ways to solve it mm, the problem is very basic as i said you only get the container you get the um the roller conveyor which is motorized you can see the motor there and then the photo eye, okay? In this case, that one is this type of photo sensor, which is a retro reflective sensor, okay? And then you get the reflector here, okay? As you can see. Uh, the curiosity of this type of sensor, can okay, you have to know that before you're gonna try to solve the problem, is that, as you can see, it already has the light on connected okay in a way it means that this type of sensor is normally closed okay there is different ways to know that in the reality well you just check the data sheet okay of the sensor and it should tell you or the manufacturer should tell you um, in this program there are a couple things one well I just said that okay the sensor is there I mean the light green is already there Okay, if not, it would be probably yellow, I think, or red, I forgot. The second is that the word of the input, in this case, is going to be yellow. Okay, if it's white, it means that it's not transmitting, I would say, a current or energy or voltage to the input, sorry, to the PLC, sorry. Um, if it's white, means that it's not, and if it's yellow, means that it is, it is really transmitting. So in this case, we can see that right now it is normally closed. It is normally transmitting the energy, okay, unless something is in between. If right now we move the box or the container um, in this light, in this beam, it is going to change, okay? Um, we can see also the other way is that the sensor light, I would say here, it is bright, okay? If not, it would be, um, it would be darker, okay? So that is another way to know. And then the last one, the last way to know, sorry, is in the drivers, when you're going to try to connect one to the other one, which in my case, I'm going to go to a Siemens S7 PLC simulator here, that green, it is already bright. Okay, if not, it would be something like that. Okay. So um, that is important thing to know before we're gonna um, before we are going to um, try to create the, the, the coding, okay? And uh, we're gonna also move this thing. Let me see, just to try a little annoying. If we put the case here, as you can see now, oh, the light didn't change, sorry, it was my fault. That doesn't change. Ah, oh, here is yellow, and then here gets only green. See? And, and the sensor were changed to white. Okay, that is the main thing. Okay, don't listen, don't, don't really listen to this. I think that I'm saying about the lights. Just listen, at, listen and just check um, the word. Okay, if it's blue white, it is not transmitting nothing. If it's yellow, it transmits. Okay, so that is something really important there. So we're going to try to resolve the problem. Okay, here is already resolved for me. Um, it is very basic, as I said, it's the most basic. Okay, and you only get one input and one output, as we can see uh, here, that is the input, uh, the output, sorry, and that is the input, and this is the object to move. Okay, you also can see that 
here. You only get really this and this. That one, don't listen to that. Uh, don't don't really pay attention to that. Okay, that is not important. The important ones are these two. Okay, sensor, only one, and then the output is going to be the conveyor. When I'm going to try to solve so any problem, the first thing I'm going to do is create my own spreadsheet, okay? And this is the typical spreadsheet I'm going to create, okay? Uh, when this problem is really easy, it seems like a waste of time, but when problems get a little more complex, that is going to be, at least personally, the way that I know that things are going on as I want, okay? And I can identify uh, any kind of item and, or any kind of sensor, and I also can see what type of data it is, okay? The other way would be going into the PLC tag here, in this case, in, in, in TIA portal. But uh, I like to have the spreadsheet where all the information that I want, okay? And have here, for example, description. You can put it in comments, the description, okay? That would be the other option. Then you don't have to make that spreadsheet. But personally, I do like the spreadsheet, okay? Um, so it's up to you, really. You want to create a spreadsheet or you want to just put everything here, okay? It's a good job, to be honest, for TIA Portal or for Siemens because they give you the option that you don't really need an extra spreadsheet, okay? Um, here, what I like to put is the same information as we're going to find here, okay? Almost. The, I, the number, I mean, the type, I mean, the, sorry, the... Um, the name, in this case, okay, I call item, but it's the name. The address, I call per number, you can call address. Then a description, and then the, da the data type, okay? That is important also because then you can see what type of data it is. Uh, the item, input 1, input 2, input 3. If it's output, I put directly output from 1 to infinity. And then the same thing for the parameters, okay? Parameters, in this case, as I said, it's so simple. I don't really need even parameters. But uh, as other problems get more complex, the, the you're going to probably start using a lot of parameters. In fact, maybe even more than input outputs, okay? Of course, it depends on each of the problems or each of the cases. So here we only get one input. Input 0.0, .0 that is the address, and then is the photo sensor that one or retro reflective sensor? And then you get the and is a boolean is one or zero, that's all. And then same thing output one, which is gonna be the conveyor, uh q00, and then boolean. Okay. So uh the coding is gonna be quite simple. Remember, don't delete, as I said in the second video, don't delete all this information which is going to transmit information between the software and factory IO um, the, this is so simple really you only get really one network here and it's going to be one sensor and then the output okay the input is going to be open Okay, and some people are going to say, yeah, but the, the sensor, because how now we have to like really think, what do we want to do before we start? And we're going to say, oh, we want, sorry, we want that the container is going to be moving until it reaches the beam of the sensor, then it stops the container, that's all. Okay, every time that the container is going to be touching the beam, then it stops, and every time the container is in any other place, there is nothing in between the reflective sensor and the reflection, um, then it moves. So typically, I should do that in, in normal sensors, I should do that like that, which means the, the electricity, well, the, the, the energy, what is it called, is going to go through, in normal cases, and then it's going to output it, so it's going to move the conveyor, until this thing detects something, then it's going to get bright, it's going to shut off, and then the energy is not going to be able to go through the input one. However, we remember that I just said that this type of sensors, it is normally closed. So it's a, not a typical uh, sensor, like for example, the diffuser, here, which is normally open. The diffuser, as you can see, it is always wide, 
Okay, and this is always dark. So it is normally uh, normally open, sorry. The case of the f this other photo, uh, it is normally open, as I said, for the um, color here or in the driver, you can see that it is bright. Okay, in that case, I have to make it the opposite. So I have to open that. And right now, because open, really, the sensor is closed, it's kind of like the opposite, the energy is going to go through and it's going to move the, con the conveyor until it detects something, then it's going to close and then the energy is not going to be able to move. Okay, and we're going to see that in just a minute. So I'm going to prepare that. That will be only the only network that I need for this simple problem. We're going to try to move it. Okay, so we're going to do the simulation. We're going to prepare here the the factory IO drivers okay so just wait a little bit and we're going to see that in real time okay it's, it's loading loading the program I want to start right away finish we're going to see the way running It'll hold the computer is not working to 100% potential. Oh, good. Um, it's already prepared. Now we're going to connect. Okay, it is connected. And now we're going to see how it works. Normal conditions, it moves. And as soon as the container reaches the beam, it stops. Boom. It stops right away. If I move it again, it moves. Okay move it moves again okay so we're going to try to see that in real and see if it doesn't fail this time it was the previous time it did fail is this working now here okay so as we can see we're going to see right away it is transmitting the energy Good, 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 and then it will stop. Boom, it stops. It stops when this one moves. Remember, if now I move it again, it just needs the energy. Okay, so this is all for today. Um, as I said, the, the, the example was really simple. And well, well, just wait until the next video. We're gonna try to propose the next tutorial, okay, for you. Okay, as I said, this is really simple. Uh, normally, it is for people that they haven't really played with PLCs at all, or just a little bit, especially theoretically. But, well, well, it seems like a really simple problem, but at the same time, well, at least now you know what it is an input type of symbol, the output one. Uh, organize things, as I said, you can do that here or here, that. and at the same time, you know what is a sensor, and you know what is an output, okay, and also you understand that there are some sensors that are going to be normally closed, they're going to send the energy, unless something happens, okay, so that's all for today, I hope you liked it, and, well, if you have any question that you couldn't understand, then you can write a comment below and I'm going to try to answer that as soon as I have, have time. Thank you.